Hello, good evening. Happy Thursday. How are you doing today? I hope that you have had a very good day and that you were able to um, do your exercise in plataforma. So, but I check in the morning and less than the half of you have completed the, the minimum expected. So, um, I don't know what's going on. Si tienen algún problema, repórtenlo. Si hay alguna razón por la que no puedan completar sus ejercicios a tiempo, repórtenlo. Porque en la mañana todavía faltaba más de la mitad. Así que, bueno, tenemos 11 ahorita conectados. Thank you for being on time, for being so responsible as always. Uh, meanwhile, the rest is getting in. We are going to check the exercises in the plataforma. And Francisco, ayer dijo que tenía un problema con un ejercicio, ¿verdad? Yes. Era el de la sección 1. Sí, era la, el ejercicio 4. Ejercicio 4, sección 1. Me parece que, uh -huh. que era, había cambiado de staff, pero se me olvida qué, qué frase le puse. Déjenme ver acá, ahorita que estamos, vamos a revisar la plataforma. Eh, cualquier otro ejercicio que les esté dando problema, la 4 dice. Oh, la 4 es multiple choice. Uh -huh. Es del ejercicio 1. De la 4, la... esta. Que en vez de aquí dice employees y aquí dice staff. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, ahorita se la copio acá en el chat de la meeting para que um, la escriba por ahí. Se, se recuerda que en lugar de poner staff, la palabra es employee, la que la plataforma tiene configurada. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Eh, ¿Sí puede hacer el chat? Sí. Ok. Gracias. Eh, ok, no problem. Eh, ¿Algo otro ejercicio que quieran que chequeamos que les haya dado problemas? No. No, teacher, por lo menos esa era la única, oh. la única dificultad que tenía. Ok, good. So, espero que eso ayude y recuerden que si en, algún, en la, porque sí vi algunos que en la sesión 1 no habían alcanzado el 100, algunos estaban abajito del 80, acuérdense que pueden eh, volver para atrás si ya habían avanzado a la sección 2 y completar lo que les haga falta o corregir para que pues no les afecte en su puntaje final. Ok, um, let's take a look to the homework number nine so that we can review a little bit about uh, yesterday we finished the section number two. So, um, and you were supposed to complete the exercises on that section and the midterm exam as well. So we're gonna go through the missing exercises in the midterm exam so that we can check together that everything is okay or if there is any exercise that is not um, really clear with the instructions, you can complete it later. Or if you can go ahead and sign in the platform and do the exercise right now, you can do it as well. So in the homework number nine, it is a multiple choice that we have to complete the sentence that we got here. It says, choose the correct form of the verb. It says, number one, eat a lot in Britain. Which is the correct option? The first one is rain, second one, or the third option? What do you think? Eat a lot in Britain. It is rain a lot in Britain? Rains. Rains. Yes, it rains a lot in Britain. Number two, I peace that very much. Yeah. 
like. Okay, like. Number three, I English very well. Doesn't go. Ah, I have three. English very well. I don't speak. Don't speak English very well. Okay. My sister to the cinema very often. Goes not. Sí, pero ya se la di. Ah, doesn't go. Okay. Thank you. They always TV in the evening. Is that watch? Watch. Okay. And then we send the answers, and yes, all of them are correct. We got a total of um, 20 out of 20, so meaning that all of them are correct. And then we have the homework number 10. And, and in this homework, we should choose the correct form of the verb in, in present as well. Is similar to the number nine. So uh, we have uh, just the performs here and we have to select the correct one. So in number one, it a beautiful day today. And the option is, is. Okay, good. It is a beautiful day today. Number two, sorry, Lisa, not here at the moment. Um, is or be? Um, sorry, Lisa, not here at the moment. Is. Is not here at the moment. Okay, good. Number three. They, they are not here. They right now go to school, swim on the beach, are on holiday. Are on holiday. Okay, and number four, Robert, not go to my school. Does okay, Robert does not go to my school. Okay, my parents in a two bedroom apartment. Light. Okay, my parents live in a two bedroom apartment. Let's see, and that is correct. So, all of your answers are correct. And after this exercise with this one, we finish the section number two. So remember, it's just, this is really, really easy. It's not going to take too much time. So you can go ahead and complete it if you are still pending with it, this or other exercises. Um, now, and let's see. Then we have the midterm exam, you just see, Solo necesitamos dar next and then we get there. So it's also something that you were supposed to have completed and I hope that you do it. So let's see, uh, select the best form of the verb. Can you read the sentence and give me the correct form of the verb? Cleans. Cleans. Okay. Number two. Work. Mm -hmm. Work. Number three. Doesn't take. Doesn't take okay. Number four, uh, 
always. Always, okay. Number five. Is always. Aha. Uh -huh. Excellent. So you see, this exercise is already done and it's really, really easy. Now let's move to the next one. In part two, it's um, same thing, complete the best option. So we have to read in number one is can or can't. Can. Um. Mm -hmm. Number two, my sister type fast, she's very slow. Is this can or can't? Can't. Mm -hmm. Number three, I have been your friend. For. Since. Since. Mm -hmm. Since 2016. Let's see. I live in San Salvador. I lived in San Salvador. In. 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 Uh -huh, because it's like ya pasó, ¿verdad? Ya es pasado. Y el since es para indicar un, en donde el inicio de un periodo de tiempo que pues a la fecha mayor caso de veces sigue. Okay, I am working at at Credit Bank. Okay, yes, and all those answers were correct. Si pueden irlo haciendo a la par a los que les hacía falta, that would be perfect. Number three, the part number three says select the best answer. Y este, si se fijan, lo acabamos de hacer. Parece que era el mismo ejercicio 9 de la sección 2, de la tarea 9. So, aquí dijimos, it rains a lot in Britain. I like, like. much. I don't speak then speak English very well. My sister doesn't go. Mm -hmm. They always watch. And that is correct. Si tienen alguna pregunta, pueden hacerla. Then let's see, part four. It's part of a job application. Telephone number. Telephone number. Uh huh. It's part of employment history. Name of the company. Uh -huh. It's mandatory to write in an application form. Signature. Signature. Uh -huh. Signature. Okay. And in this one, we have to unscramble the words to form sentences. What would be the correct order to organize those words? The moment. It will be a great opportunity to study a bride. A bride, okay. Let's put a period there. Number five.
a training. Could be. Beneficial. For our employees. Okay, and we sent the answers. And yes, they are correct. So in case if you no las copiaron aquí se las pongo en el chat y hay que ponerles punto al final bueno yo les puse porque la vez pasada tuvimos problemas por no poner el punto <laughs> ok there you have them in the chat in the meeting chat and we can continue with the next part and this leads us to the section number three. So you see, it was just a few exercises and the and the midterm exam has been completed. So it's not rocket science. So you can do it um, as soon as possible so that you can have um, at least in your record that you are still working in the platform, porque si no toman como que, ¿qué pasó? ¿Tiene algún problema? ¿No se puede loguear? ¿Qué pasa? Y empiezan a, a contactarles para saber qué pasó. So, let's see. I, yes, I already shared the presentation for today's, but uh, we're going to check attendance before we um, go ahead with the, today's topic. Today we will start the section number three. It's a new unit, but we're going to check attendance before that. Abel Edenilson. Abel Edenilson Salazar. Ok, Abel, ya vi que escribió ahí en el chat. Thank you so much. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Let's continue with Balmore Alexander Marroquín. Balmore Alexander Marroquín. Uh, it's not here, Balmore. Okay, but it's okay now. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Ah, va manejando, ¿verdad? Okay, Carlos, thank you. Cecia Noemi Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present teacher. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa Mengíbar. Present. Thank you, Hazel. Julissa Yamilet Yalta. Present teacher. Thank you, Julissa. Carla Daniela Molina. Present. Thank you. Carla Lorena Mendoza. Present. Thank you so much. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Marilyn Alejandra. Okay, let's continue. Mario Ernesto Ramírez. Present. Thank you, Mario. Melanie Alexandra Martinez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Melissa Esther Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you. 
Mirna Janet Ángel. Present teacher. Thank you. Roberto Emilio González. Present teacher. Thank you. Santos Cristina Cerritos. Present teacher. Thank you. Víctor Noé Bonilla. Present. Okay. Thank you. All right. Let me share the presentation with you so that we can start section number three. Okay, I think that you can see my screen now. Um, in this section, uh, the name of the unit is HR Procedures. As you may remember, HR stands for Human Resources, okay? So we will be discussing about human resources procedure. And in this class, it's about the vocabulary, human resources vocabulary. All right. Uh, to begin with, we have um, uh, an organizational chart of the most common structures of the HR department or people that has to do something with HR. So we have the VP of HR, like the vice president of HR. And then um, you can find the benefits and compensation director. He has a, well, a compensation specialist and a benefits specialist. Um, then we have the recruiting director and the recruiters and the recruiting specialist. HR director and payroll specialist, HR specialist. Then we have learning and development director and the trainer. So all those your job positions have to do or are related to um, human resources at the management of personnel or new hires, etc. Do you have any question with this uh, organizational chart? No questions? Okay, now let's see uh, the vocabulary. In this vocabulary, you will find most of these job positions that are related to the human resources department. And you will also be able to um, know or what are the activities that this person do. So the first that we have in the vocabulary is the shift human resources officer. As you see, it's a very long, long word. This is chief human resources officer. So um, the abbreviation is CHRO. What does this person do? Well, focuses on strategy of human capital and how HR programs grow revenue and the organization for the poor and often global organization and for the longer term. And we have then the this the vice president of HR. Who wants to read that one? A volunteer to read. Vice president of HR. What does this person do? What are uh, mm. the activities that they perform? I'm gonna read it. Thank you so much, Carla. Uh, Visa is vice. Uh huh. Vice. Vice president of HR works with the executive team on business objectives. They view financial documents and work to understand how programs and services drive re revenue. Says? Revenue. 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 Mm -hmm. Focused on business metrics, reporting, and analytics. Excellent. Thank you so much for helping us with that one, Carla. Then we have the 
recruiting director. Who wants to read that? Recruiting director. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you, Francisco. Report to the CHRO for the team of HR and is the senior leader for hearing. Hiding? Hiding. And recruiting and decision marker responsibility for budgeting sorry budgeting budgeting allocation, allocation and strategy planning with senior leadership on the subject of talent acquisition on recruitment excellent thank you so much for helping us francisco now, HR director, who wants to read that one? A volunteer to read for HR director? HR director, responsible. Thank you, Carla. Mm, HR director responsible for annual budgets and decisions on buying software systems and negotiating benefits for the company. This role is less focused on compliance and policy, policy, policy. Mm -hmm. and more on driving results for the organization related to human capital. Excellent. Thank you so much for helping us, Carla. Now, compensation and benefits manager. Compensation and benefits manager. A volunteer to read. Yes, teacher, compensation and benefits manager. This role is responsible for managing benefits, plans, employment, health, insurance, life, insurance, 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 uh -huh. dental, insurance. Vision, Mm -hmm. 41 ¿Cómo pronuncia ahí, Chucha? So you can say 401 o the one K plan. Okay, and other programs like employee assistance programs and tuition tuition Reimbursement. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much for helping us reading. Now we have HR specialist. What does this person do? Any volunteer? Good teacher. Thank you. Focus the focus on administration by payroll by payroll processing and the administrative tasks as well as employee orientation training and the press screen in Interviewing, 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 my, uh -huh. interviewing my 
specialized specialized mm -hmm. specialized in employee relation program management ma, ma, management 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 project management um compli com compliance compliance compliance, compliance uh, among, among other of the areas other areas okay good Thank you so much. Now let's move to the next one. Okay, and that vocabulary was for you to know and have an idea of what are the duties of responsibilities of the people involved in the HR department. Okay, you will use that later. Vamos a usar ese vocabulario luego. And then we have this conversation, as you can see, it's test to uh, the objective of this is to identify specific information of the human resources staff organization and their responsibilities within the department. Por eso estábamos viendo también el vocabulario porque es lo que vamos a estar utilizando y es importante que, sa que sepamos eh, quienes conforman el, el Departamento de Recursos Humanos y cuáles son sus responsabilidades. Okay. Now, we have a conversation between Mr. Chang and Dorian. I'm going to read the conversation for you. You can repeat at home. And then if you have any question about um, vocabulary or pronunciation, we can... Um, go ahead and continue practicing or give the explanation of the correspondent word. It says Mr. Chang is looking for two employees at the at RC company. Listen uh, and repeat. Then we're going to practice. Excuse me, I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she's the recruitment coordinator. I see, and could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He's the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Okay, uh, do you have any question? Okay, so now we are ready then to practice this conversation in the breakout rooms. So let me create them. Okay, ready.
Hola. 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 Practicamos. Sí, alguien podría compartir. Vaya, eh, ¿quién va a practicar primero? Si gusta usted y yo, o no sé, alguien más. Ok, excuse me. I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She is the recruit, recruitment coordinator. I see. And um, could you tell me about her responsibilities? Um, I see. No, perdón. No. Basically, uh, she provides recu recruiting administrative support for the team of rec recruiters. I no sé cómo es. Rec recruiters. I team of re it's like recruiters. 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 Oh. Excellent. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work he here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado, he is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Vaya, ahora si sí usamos lo invertido. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for Mr. Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And who could you tell me about her responsibilities? Ve, ¿cómo se pronuncia esa? Lo escuché. La de... Basically. Ah, ok. Basic, basically, she provides recurring administ, administrative... Administrative. Administrative. So, let, me, let me see. So, uh, ok, you work with Torian, right? So, you say, basically... Basically... Basically, excellent. She provides. She provides recruiting, recurring, administrative, administrative support, support for the team of recruiters. For the team of recruiters. Uh -huh. And then you can practice again. Porque si sí, esta, 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 especialmente ese perrafito como que tiene las, todas las palabras complicadas juntas. Thank you. 
Ok. Bueno, lo voy a intentar otra vez. Basically, she provides recurring administ administrator. Ay, eso se me olvida, teacher. Ok, the first one is basically. 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 She provides. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Basically, Re she provides recruiting administrative. Administrative support for the team of recruiters. Excellent. Ya va mejor. Ok. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado, he is the talent management consultant. Uh, where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Okay. Ahora, ¿quién va a practicar? Yo voy a practicar. No sé quién más estará conectado. Okay, we're back again. So um, let me continue sharing my screen. Now that you practice that conversation, we have um, two questions. It's on, at the bottom of the page 29, we have, uh, well, this is uh, getting paid and discuss the following questions. Who is Mrs. Chavez? What do you think Mr. Chang does? You can, uh, I'll give you time for you to answer these two questions. We're going to do it here in the main section. We're not gonna do it in group because we, we were already in the breakout rooms practicing the conversation. So I'll give you some time for you to answer to those two questions.
Okay, let's see. For the number one, I saw Victor Bonilla. He said, who is Miss Chavez? She is the recruitment coordinator. Is that uh, the correct answer? Do you have the same answer? Yes, teacher is correct. Yeah, it's correct. Okay, good. Now let's see. Number two. What do you think Mr. Chang does? A volunteer? What do you think Mr. Chang does? Yo estuve pensando y no llegué a ninguna conclusión, teacher. <laughs> Okay. So you were thinking with no conclusions, right? Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Mr. Chang is um is um Okay, yes, yeah. so, so it's not like really clear, pero en la última parte, él le pregunta quién es eh, Mateo Salgado, right? Y le dice que es, eh, he is the talent management consultant. ¿Y qué hace un, uno de estos consultants? Oh, ay, quedémonos aquí. Ok, está buscando por un consultant, right? Talent management consultant. So, I think that probably, probably, maybe, um, uh, I think that she's pro he's probably... Um, Amanda. Oh, perdón, no es con nosotros. <laughs> ok, so, um, I think that Probably he is looking for a job, like he's a potential employee. <laughs> for me, that's what I think. That's maybe a potential employee. Or, or the newest employee. Or is a new employee, probably. Uh-huh. So, yes, for me, I don't know if you think it's the same or, or you have another idea. Probablemente anda buscando trabajo porque busca a, a la necesidad que es la, la encargada, de, la coordinadora de, de reclutamiento. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It's probably a potential new employees, a new or a new hire. O es un, 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 un alguien recién contratado, probably, o alguien que anda buscando trabajo. So, that's what, ajá, uh -huh, so ya, ya vemos un par que pensamos similar. <laughs> Does anybody else has a different idea? Ok. All right, so let us continue then with this, uh, I have uh, this organization. Um, another organizational chart that can help us. And we have some of, um, tenemos algunas profesiones o oh, siempre relacionado a HR. Okay. And um, HR director and then is the assistant, right? And then we have the recruitment, compensation and benefits employee relations, training and development, workforce safety. What does they do? Well, about the recruitment, they are in charge of job posting. Okay. So lo, los que están en reclutamiento son los encargados también de, de, de postear los trabajos que están disponibles, de anunciarlos. Applicant sourcing. Mm -hmm. interview arranging and applicant choosing compensation and benefits somebody wants to uh, 
read about compensation and benefits. Volunteer. Thank you, Carla. Uh, compensation and benefits. Job evaluation, attendance checking, salary policy administration, insurance and bonus managing. Okay, insurance and bonus managing. Excellent, thank you so much for helping us. Uh, volunteer to read for uh, employee relations. Employee relations. A strategic plan. Dispute really resolution. Contract negotiation and advisory service. Very good. There you go. Thank you so much. Now, training and development. A volunteer. Training and development. A volunteer. Yeah. Me teacher. Thank you, Carla. Training program, leadership training and promotion promotion policy. Policy. Okay. Thank policy. you so much. And the last one, workforce safety. Workforce safety. Um, Victor, thank you. Security education. Emergence, emergency. Emergency, Eva bien yeah. con emergency. Emergency preparedness, facility inspections. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you so much uh, for reading about the um, these people activities. Or um, now, do you have any question about this? Well, this is basically for you to know what are they in charge of. De qué están encargados cada uno de ellos, qué es lo que está en verdecita, so, son las eh, actividades o lo que ellos tienen a cargo. Now, I have here, um, y es por eso que les, les presentaba ese vocabulario, because yes, we have uh, to complete this exercise is read the information on the HR personnel and then answer the questions below. Okay, so we have this on page 30 and then we have uh, these three questions. So for this activity, you will have to read and then you answer the three questions. And um, we're going to do this in group so that you can uh, discuss, read. You can take turns reading. Pueden tomar turnos para leerlos. Uh, la información acá in this um, chart. And then you can answer the three questions together in the groups. I'm going to stop sharing. This is on page 30 of your material. So, uh, Let's work on that, yes. Let me recreate the groups. Uh, les voy a hacer uno menos porque hay algunos que están como oyentes y no se están uniendo. Entonces, vamos a ver. Okay, there we go.
pueden ver. Sí. Ok. Y ahí vamos a leer la, la, la información que tiene cada... Ajá. Y luego contestamos esto. Ok. Digo que para no estarlo subiendo... Ah, no tenemos por lo menos las preguntas. Ya no te Ya no te What does the recruitment coordinator do? Sería la primera. Siento, pero no. No, ya lo compartió Cari. Ahí está. En la parte de arriba, ese Carla Baje. Uh -huh. teacher, buenas noches, teacher. Eh, ¿Nos puede hacer el favor de repetirnos las indicaciones? Por favor. Yes. Ok, pueden leer. Pueden tomar turnos leyendo acá about um, lo que hacen estas personas. Ok, lo que hicimos básicamente anterior, ¿verdad? Que estuvimos leyendo. Okay. Solo, eh, solo son, la lectura. Son como posts, no. Son como posts de los requisitos, de lo que se quiere para estas posiciones. ¿Qué necesita para ser un recruitment coordinator? A bachelor's degree. Y las actividades que tienen que hacer, ¿verdad? Eh, son como job posts, son como avisos o anuncios de trabajo. Y luego que hayan leído, van a responder esas tres preguntas. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Ok. Entonces, comenzamos. Somos, quiero ver, son los cuatro, ¿verdad? Uno cada uno. Sí. Ok. Si quieren, comienzo yo. Eh, recruitment. Cinco, pero no sé si estamos ¿Cómo, todos. ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo? Permítame, quiero ver. Así somos seis. No, la, ahí está la teacher, pero solo nosotros somos cinco. No. Seis. Son las seis, sí. Ah, sí, es cierto. Pero creo que hay alguien. Eh, no, no. Bueno. Ok, si no, quieren. No, no. Solo como sí, pero uno. Ah, sí, como seis. Bueno, le damos y ahí vamos. Y no repetimos. Ok. Comienzo. Dale. Recruitment coordinator, bachelor's degree, organize schedule of candidate interviews, open and post requisition, coordinate internal and internet jobs posting, has a degree in management, works with and supports a recruiting. Team has five years, five years of experience, works on week, weekdays and works part-time. No sé quién va a continuar. Okay, voy yo. 
benefit a specialist bachelor degree develops and maintain competitive my name, my name is competitive progressive and proactive compensation plans creates cost effective benefit programs to provide motivation incentives and reward for effective performance works and wait weekdays first time job three years of experience in the position in this position bye Súbalo un poquito, Carla, la, la presentación. Thailand's Management Consultants. Bellish Bachelor's Degree. Responsible for the leadership developments a career Careers, development, asset performance, learning and development, works on, days, on Saturdays, full time job, one year of experience. I continue. Human Resources Generalis. Bachelor's degree maintains knowledge of legal requirements and government reporting regulations affecting human resources. Response to inquiries regarding policies procedures and programs works on survey part-time job five years of, of experience in similar positions okay Ajá, vamos a responder. No sé si alguien más iba a practicar, ¿really? Respondemos las preguntas. Sí, mejor avancemos con las preguntas. Ok. ¿Qué hace? El Screaming coordinator. Recruitment. Mm -mm -mm. Sería organize a schedule of candidate interviews, open questions, coordinate internal and internet job policy. Creo que esa esas tres series. Sí, yo creo que estas tres. Esta. El punto Ahora, dos, tres y cuatro. En el internet de postilla. Okay. Las, las tres. Sí, sí, las tres. Ahora, esta dice. What is the direction? Ah, ¿Cuál es la, la experiencia del coordinador? Es de. 
five five years of experience barely. Esa es en la segunda. Y la tercera sería work on weekdays. Que dice when does the recruitment coordinator work? Creo que sería works on weekdays. Eh, works part time. La segunda cuál iba a quedar. Uh, what? This, uh, what is the recruitment <coughs> coordinator experience? It uh, has five years of experience. Cinco años. ¿Cuánto, qué, ¿Qué experiencia debe tener dice, el coordinador? Wow. Okay. Uh, debe ser la experiencia de cinco años. Y la otra dice que cuándo va a trabajar. Work on Sunday, Saturday. And works on weekdays. On weekdays. Mm -hmm. Okay, volvemos a la sala. Gracias. 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 Well, let's see, there were three rooms, so we're gonna get one question per group. Just let me see, uh, where were we? Here, I think, but it's loading. Okay, ready. Let me see, uh, first question. What does the recruitment coordinator do? Let's see, in room number one, Abel, Badmore, Janet, Carla Mendoza, Marilyn, and Victor. Any of you, can you answer the question number one? What does the recruiting coordinator do? Ahorita, mm, teacher. Sería... <clears throat> mm. Organize a schedule of candidate interviews, opens and puts requisitions, and coordinate internal and internet job posting. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much for responding to that question. Uh, group number two, it's a question number two. What is the recruitment coordinator's experience? Carlos, Cesa, Cecia, Francisco Acuña, Julissa, Mario, and Roberto. Any of you can answer the question number two? The, uh, number two, yes. five years of experience. Five years of experience? Is that all? Only five years of experience? Oh, okay, great. Thank you so much. Now in number three, let's see when does when does the recruitment coordinator work? 
For room number three, we had uh, Elizabeth, Hazel, Carla, Daniela, and Melissa Stell. When does the recruitment coordinator work? Work on weekdays. On weekdays. No Saturdays? No Sundays? Okay, so you remember uh, yesterday we were uh, discussing about that question, right? Como preguntar yeah. qué días trabaja alguien. Ahí está. <laughs> From Monday to Friday. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Now, um, let's talk about, as you see, um, when we are applying or trying to look for a job for us, we need to uh, be aware of what are our skills, okay? And things that we like to do. Um, so what are we, our likes or dislikes and also our skills, right? What are we capable to do? Like we have here some questions that employees may ask you about your skills. So let's see, we have eight, eight important job skills. Let's see, number one, can you use a computer? Number two, can you manage other people? Number three, are you good at public speaking? Number four, can you teach others how to do things? Number five, can you solve problems? Number six, do you manage money well? Number seven, do you work well with people? Number eight, do you speak other languages? Questions about this vocabulary or pronunciation? No questions? Okay, if there are no questions, we can um, answer the first question. Which of these skills do you think are most important and why? Which of these skills do you think are most important and why? What do you think? And one of them, it could it be, can you teach others how to do things? Mm. Because you can apply to a job and related to a management. Okay. And maybe can you solve problems? That's really important. To oh. work with mm -hmm. with less um without less stress. Uh huh. Yes. Um, to work with less stress. I think that in any job position that you're applying for, you need to know how to solve problems. You need to be a problem mm -hmm. solver, right? It's um, useful. Yes, it's very useful because, yes, uh, in that way, I think that um, it's less stressful, as, as you said, yes. If you yeah. just, uh, if you're a problem solver, you're not going to sit down and cry because there is a, any kind of problem. You just try to um, solve them and that's it. Okay. Yeah. So um, any other volunteer? What do you think? Any other volunteer? Yes, which of these skills do you think are the most important? Uh -huh. So for you, number one, number one use a computer. Yes, uh -huh. number two, Good three. Public speaking. 
Do you, do you work well with white people? Uh huh. Why? Why did? Yes. Uh huh. So I'm Okay, yes, I agree. Uh, it's important to be able to use a computer because most of uh, jobs are are required to for you to be able to use a computer, right? Nowadays, computers are part of our, uh, uh, of almost all kind of jobs that you refer to. They involve the use of computers. So yes, it is important. Um. Any other volunteer? No? Okay, now, which, which of these skills you think you have? Which of these skills do you have? Let me start. I can use a computer. I can teach others how to do things. I can solve problems. And I am good at managing money. I can manage money well. And uh, I work well with other people and I speak other language. What about you? Which of these skills do you have, volunteer? In my case, teacher, I'm good at public speaking. And um, also I'm good to teach at teaching, sería, verdad? At teaching others how to do things. And Almost speak other languages. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can communicate. I think that most of you, you can you can say that you speak a second language because you understand and you can communicate your ideas. So, yes. Nice. Sí, Any other <laughs> Yeah, so it is, um, it's not necessary to be uh, like a uh, full English, as we said, eh, ya con el vocabulario que ya tienen, pueden decir que hablan otro lenguaje, ya se pueden comunicar, Ajá. aunque a veces podemos decir, pero me cuesta, sí, pero lo logran, so yes, you can say that you speak other language, lo están puliendo y aprendiendo más cada día, pero ya lo hablan, ok, any other volunteer? <laughs> okay, um, now um, let's see. According to the skills that you have or that you check, what jobs do you think you might be good at? Mm -hmm. Mm, I don't know, maybe um, some works that are related to um, talk with people, with clients, with customers, oh, okay. related with sales, like with... my current job. Oh. Okay, that sounds like... Um, uh, mm, so you like selling things, helping people, and and what else? And speak other languages. Ah, okay. So, so you, you think that you, you can be good at a sales area or marketing? Yeah, I guess. Sales, sales or marketing. Okay, sounds good. Anybody else? Oh, okay. 
Now we have another, um, let's see here, we have another conversation. I think this is like uh, easier and always uh, related to uh, job searching. And we have these two guys as Dan and Brad. I'm going to read the conversation for you and you can practice at home. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed? How about this telephone sales job? You call people and try to sell them magazines. That sounds boring. And anyway, I'm not very good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here is one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I love traveling and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the sea ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. I think I'll apply for it. Okay, do you have any question about this conversation, vocabulary, pronunciation? Yes, teacher, I have one. What's the meaning of a cruise ship? Es un barco de cruceros. Como el Titanic? Como el Titanic. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And you're welcome. Any other question? No more questions? No volunteers? Question. Okay, volunteers to role play the conversation. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa palabra donde dice en la, en la penúltima, donde se dan en the wild, the ship is at sea? Wild. Wild. Ajá, uh -huh. wild. Wild. Wild, the ship is at sea. Uh, okay. As I don't have volunteers to role play here, creo que se sienten más I cómodos en los, break, en los breakout rooms. Ok, I have I Janet and Carla Daniela. Yeah. ¿Empiezo yo? Sí. Ok. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listen? How about this telephone sales job? You call people and try to sell them magazines. That's so boring. Um, uh, anyway, I'm not very good at selling. Selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment 
director on a cruise ship. The song like fun. I love traveling and like never being in a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours. If the pay I got, I think like I play for it. Okay, very good. Thank you very much for practicing with us. So do we have two more volunteers? Two more volunteers? Mario Ernesto, thank you. And who can help Mario? Me. Francisco. Me teacher. Okay, let's listen to Mario and Francisco. Yes. Mario, really? I'm so wrong. I really need to find a job. So do I do? You see anything good listening? How about this telephone started job? You can people to call people and try to sell them to sell them magazine. That sounds boring. Uh, anyway, I'm not very good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one soft one for you. I'm assistant entertainment director of a race ship. That sounds like fun. I love traveling and I will never be on a cruise ship. It's like here. It's like here. You have to work every day where the ship is at the sea. That's okay. Uh, that's my working. Long hours. If the pie is good, I think you apply for it. Okay, very well done. Thank you so much for practicing. Uh, remember, here is mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. And here is hours. I don't mind working long hours. Hours. Is that Facebook? I think it's. Uh -huh. es, es I'll. 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 Que es la contracción de I will. I'll apply. I'll apply for it. Okay, uh, thank you so much. Uh, do we have two more volunteers? Me, teacher. Carla Ivania, Veo, y who else? Carla Ivania, and who wants to help her? Marilyn estaba a decir que ella, pero creo que no la escucha a usted. Oh, Marilyn. Sí, desde hace rato se va a decir que yo. Oh, perdón, es que cuando dicen yo, solo escucho la voz y a veces veo que se pone verdecito quién está hablando. Por eso les digo que levanten la manita mejor, porque esa sí se mira, quien sea que levante la mano, quedan como en la lista ahí. But yes, <laughs> sorry, Marilyn. Ok, Marilyn en Carla. Okay, ¿Empieza usted, Carla, o empiezo yo? Sí, vos empieza usted. Ok. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed? listed? How about this token sell job? You call people and try to sell the magazine. That sounds boring. Anyway, I am not very good at selling. Well, I I am. I might check that one out. Or here's one for you, an assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That's on like fun. I love traveling, and I never been on a cruise 
Chris, Chip. It says here you have to work every day while you ship it as if. That's okay. I don't mean working long hours if the pay is good. I think you apply for it. Okay. Thank you so much. Once again, let's repeat. Mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. Uh huh. And this is I'll. I will. I'll apply for it. I'll apply for it. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much. Do we have two more volunteers? Julissa. Okay, and Abel, thank you so much. Julissa and Abel. I am some broke. I really need to find a job. To find a job. Is... Sorry, teacher, tenía el mil. Okay, no worries. Uh, so do I, do you see anything good, Lisa? How about this telephone sales job? You call people and try to sell the magazine. That sounds boring. And anyway, I am not very good at selling. Well, I am me check that one out. Um, here's one for you and assistant. Entertainment director on principship. That sounds like fun. I love traveling. And I've never been in a crazy ship. It say here you have to work every day. Why the ship is a tea. That's okay. I don't mean working long hours if the pay is good. I think I'll apply for it. Okay, excellent. I see that this one is becoming difficult. So remember mine. Mine. I don't I, mind. Mm -hmm, I don't mind. I don't mind. I'll, I'll apply for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, do we have more volunteers? Cristina, veo que hablo. And Lisa. Venía en tráfico. Okay, Cristina and Melissa. Okay, go ahead. Eh, no escucha bien la clase, teacher, pero voy a leerlo como yo pueda hoy. Sure. Okay. I am to bro. Uh, I really need to see a job to do. I do the see, see uh, anything. Ah, yes. Uh, and anything. Anything. Good listener. Hasta dónde tengo que llegar yo y dónde va a seguir ella? <laughs> ya se pasó. <laughs> sí se pasó. Solo era ya la primera. Si usted da. <laughs> I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. Hasta ahí llegarán. Después es Brad. Okay. Ah, pues sí, a conseguir. Okay. So do I. So do I. So do I. Do you see anything good listed? Voy, sigo yo. Sí. Ah, okay. Ah. About this. Uh, about this telephone sales or sales? Sales. sales. Job. Sales. Job. Hasta ahí, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Hoy sigue ella. Okay. Hola. Yes. Hoy va a seguir ella. Mm -hmm. okay. That's a boring. And... Um... Anyway, I am not very good at selling. 
Well, I am. I need chef that one of or her one for two. Hola. Parte otra vez. Ay, lo siento. Ya de casa cuando la leí. Vale, voy a continuar. It's okay. her. No hay problema. It's I heard you have to work every day. Will the ship his at sea? Okay, that's okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Me working long hours if the pay is good. I think eh, esa partecita tiene que ser ILL. IL. 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 I, I think I actually for it. Finch. Okay. Excellent. Okay, now the idea is now to create a conversation uh, similar to this one. You are helping someone else to find a job. Eh, tienen que ayudarle a su compañero o compañera a encontrar un trabajo, así como está en esta conversación. Puede ser que la hagan más corta. Por ejemplo, le dice... Um, um, bueno, en este caso es I'm so broke. Eh, es como dice, estoy en la quiebra, estoy en la ruina, no tengo ni un cinco. So you can say, oh, I need, um, I need some extra money. I need a weekend job, etc. And you can say, oh, what about this caregiver position? Un caregiver es similar a un enfermero. And you can say, what about this caregiver position? You just need to take care of a patient, remind them to take care of medicine, uh, feed them, etc. I just escribí el ejemplo en el meeting chat. And uh, I'll give you for you to, okay. We're going to do this in the breakout rooms. Lo podemos hacer más chiquitas para que hagan una conversación y luego la hagan el role play para la clase. And give it time, just let me stop sharing. Y vamos a crear los breakout rooms para que ustedes hagan su propia conversacioncita. And... Sí. Yeah, tomorrow's Friday. And then vacation. Try not to miss classes. Traten de no perder clases. Ya mañana es la última. Y luego vamos a vacaciones y luego regresamos. Ah, sí, yes. So we start sí, vacations sí. Monday. <laughs> And also try to complete the um the platform. So one more. It was before. Okay. Gracias. 
No sé si tienen alguna idea. Ahorita estoy pensando en esto. Sí. No sé si alguien, podemos ver a alguien que ya tenga un trabajo y busque un segundo trabajo, así como en los Estados Unidos que tienen como dos, tres trabajos a la vez. Sí, claro. Porque los se necesitan pistolas. Sí. Que uno sí. diga, I really, I really need extra ¿qué? money. Ajá, pero como lo armamos, como lo armamos. Mm. O sea, mm. a, así empieza triste. I really need extra money. <ríe> Desde yeah, so un modo trágico, modo víctima. Y viene el otro ah. y le dice que si ya buscó mm. en otros lados. Que si ya buscó. Yes, Julissa. Eh, teacher, ¿qué íbamos a hacer? No, no escuché muy bien. Lo que pasa es que todavía soy también con unos pendientes del trabajo. Estoy, entonces estoy en las dos cosas. Eh, no, no entendí qué íbamos a hacer. Ok. Uh, you have to create a conversation. Tienen que hacer una conversación como la última que practicamos. Ayudarle a, a por ejemplo, si el compañero le dice, oh, You know what? I need extra money, so I need a part-time job. Okay? Y entonces usted le dice, oh, here is, a, um, here is a teaching position at, um, you say you can name a, an academy, and you just need to instruct the students how to use uh, computer programs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And they say, oh, yeah, it sounds good. I'm, I'm good at using computers, uh, program, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Solo crear una conversación similar a la que vieron. A la que acabamos de practicar, dice. Ah, como si alguien está buscando trabajo. Se le dice, ah, mira, aquí está esta posición. Tienes que ser bueno con las computadoras, eh, programarlas, etcétera, etcétera o enseñarle a los estudiantes a usar programas de Excel o lo que sea. Oh. Ok. Bueno, voy a buscarlo. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, you're welcome. Si gusta proyecto la conversación sí. que estábamos viendo. Ah, para sí, por base. favor. Sí, porque a buscarla iba. Solo que... Puede ser algo, le voy a tomar una foto y la voy a poner en el chat. Porque... Le funciona así. Si, si le tomo sí, una sí. foto... Sí, creo que sí. Vale, permítame. Okay.
ni a la mitad llegué. Okay, volunteers to role play, what do you have? Volunteers. Nobody? Teacher, we haven't finished. Oh, are you finished or you haven't finished? We haven't finished. Ok, no worries. ¿Anybody finish? ¿Nadie terminó de hacer su conversación? No. 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 Es que uh, no llegaba mucha inspiración, teacher. <laughs> Teníamos que ordenar ideas. Uh, yeah, I know. It's, uh, ya cuando... Uh, it's, uh, y por eso quiero que empiecen a hacer ustedes sus propias conversaciones, porque no es igual darles una y que solo repitan a que ustedes traten de... Eh, ¿Cómo decir, ok? ¿Cómo le ayudaría a alguien a buscar un trabajo? ¿Cómo haríamos? So, so I know it's difficult, but um, same topic for tomorrow. Vamos a seguir hablando de lo mismo. Um, quiero ver. Voy a ponerle yo los, los posts. Voy a buscar como ejemplos de posts que no sean como los de HR que están ahí. Es como un poquito raro, ¿verdad? So voy a buscarles material para mañana para que hagan su conversacióncita con un poco más y se les haga más fácil. Eh, vamos a chequear asistencia um, before we finish. Y acuérdense que ya mañana es viernes y ya luego quedan con su semana de vacaciones. I know that you are tired. Ya estamos cansaditos, pero solo un día más. Eh, una sesión más y ya luego quedan en un, su descanso y acuérdense completar por favor la plataforma porque aún en la mañana faltaba casi que un poquito más de la mitad en completar eh, sección 1, 2, midterm examen es lo mínimo si van más adelante pues mucho que mejor if you need help as well tenemos ahí el grupo para que pues se auxilien ahí también Abel Edenilson Present. Thank you. Abigail Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Balmore Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you, Balmore. Carlos Emilio. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Humberto. Cecia Noemi. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa. Present teacher. Thank you. Julissa Yamile. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Daniela. Present. Thank you. Carla Ivania. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Lorena. Present. Thank you. Marilina Alejandra. Mario Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra. Present. Thank you. Melissa Esther. Present. Thank you. Mirna Yanet. Present teacher. Thank you. Roberto Emilio. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you. Victor Noé. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, and uh, now 
101 is for Carla Ivania. If you can be like a couple of minutes more, it, that would be appreciated. Thank you so much for joining and see you tomorrow. See Good you. Night. Good see night. See you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Happy morning. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Hi, Carla. Sign English or it's Spanish? <laughs> Spanish, teacher. <laughs> okay, it's not a problem. ¿Cómo va? ¿Cómo se siente? Eh, bien, siento que es eh, bastante, bueno, me gusta más cuando eh, lo practicamos así en general, vea, porque así me corrige la pronunciación, porque a veces estar en grupos, pues, la misma pena, vea, a veces quizás nosotros escuchamos mal o no nos corregimos, ¿verdad? En cambio, cuando estamos todos, perdemos la pena y, o de tanto escuchar a todos los compañeros también, ¿verdad? Entonces, siento ah, okay. bastante complicado la clase. Sí, voy a, ahorita como estaba revisando, pues es, um, a, hay más chance porque el material, bueno, estaba revisando la unidad 3, casi todo es de HR y pues eh, ejercicio de llenar una forma de empleo y todo eso, eso se nos va rapidito. Entonces ese tiempo eh, me deja chance de buscarles otras conversaciones más. Eh, como ahora, verdad, que la primera conversación tenía bastante vocabulario como técnico, pero la otra sí. que les puse al final ya estaba más fácil y cubrimos lo que había que cubrir del material de Insafor, entonces ya me quedó un poco más de tiempo para escucharlos en la sección principal, porque eso sí lleva bastante tiempito, no es como ponerlos en grupo, es, es más rápido, pero sí, uh -huh. eh, yo creo que en, este, en esta sección 3 voy a voy a tomar en cuenta lo que me dice y voy a seguir uh, buscándoles conversaciones así para que las sí. hagan en la sección principal, no tanto en los breakout rooms porque no puedo estar en, 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 en lo que vuelvo, los veo a todos, no me alcanza el tiempo, se hace demasiado largo. Ajá, sí, correcto, entonces, pero igual, o sea, me ha gustado mucho porque nos corrige bastante y, y, y se detiene bastante en explicarnos, ¿verdad? Cuando tenemos alguna duda ¿verdad? ok, me alegra escucharlo y lo voy a tomar muy en cuenta para ponerles más ejercicios eh, y, y que los de, desarrollen las conversaciones en la, pre, en la principal para este, seguirles apoyando algo más que quiera comentar o algo que crea que, que quizás sea conveniente algún repaso algún tema sí. Es bien personal, ¿verdad? porque creo que los demás sí comprendieron ese tema que fue el gerundio. Yo, yo le pregunté, pero me quedé todavía con esa inquietud, ¿cuándo diferenciar el verbo cuando es en gerundio, cuando es en ando y cuando es, no sé, no agregarle eso, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. okay. Porque lo he estado buscando y dependiendo cómo va aparte del contexto, sino que el otro, el otro verbo, no es que lo vayamos a traducir la idea en ando al final, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No sé si me doy a entender. ¿Cuándo? Sí, es que ajá, lo que nosotros le decimos el ando, endo, es como decir ajá. el... el eh, eh, ese, eso es cuando es un presente continuo, ¿verdad? Como decir estoy hablando. Uh -huh. So you say, I am speaking. Ahí es como ando, ¿verdad? Estoy hablando. Entonces aquí, aquí sí dice hablando. I am speaking. Estoy hablando. Pero si yo coloco acá. Ay. Se siente mal. Ay, sí, es que el cambio de clima, como hay Ay, tanto sí. calor. 
y en la oficina está súper helado, entonces cuando uno sale otra vez al infierno, vea. <ríe> Sí. <ríe> ok, si se fija aquí, estoy usando el mismo verbo como para, para facilitárselo un poco más. Esto, cuando digo I am speaking, es un tiempo continuo, es presente continuo. I am speaking, ok. Entonces, este siempre va a llevar el verbo to be y el otro verbo con ing. Ok, okay. ese es un progresivo. I am speaking, estoy hablando. Eh, pero acá no podemos decir hablando en clase no está permitido, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ahí no, no lo puedo interpretar así. O no puedo decir, yo no soy bueno en hablando en público. No. Entonces, un gerund, eh, un gerundio, va de, de, tiene diferentes funciones y dependerá a dónde está ubicado. Eh, por ejemplo, aquí tenemos esta oración. Okay? Aquí tenemos otra oración. Sabemos que toda oración necesita un sujeto, ¿verdad? Aquí el sí. sujeto es yo. Uh -huh. Ok. Yo estoy hablando. I am speaking. Pero aquí el sujeto es el verbo. Estoy iniciando la oración con un verbo. Entonces, cuando yo inicio una oración, yo inicio un párrafo, lo que sea, con un verbo, ese verbo tiene que llevar la ing word, la palabra ing. Y no lo uh -huh. trasladamos como ando, endo, sino que uh -huh. es como decir, hablar en clase no está permitido. Speaking in class is not allowed. So, siempre que usted inicie una oración con un verbo, le tiene que poner ing. Y no quiere decir que es algo que está sucediendo ahorita, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ahora. Otra ocasión en la que un verbo toma la, el ing o forma gerund es después de una preposición. Uh -huh. Ok, aquí está la preposición at. Entonces, si después de esa preposición yo tengo un verbo, ese verbo va a ir con ing. Uh -huh. eh, la otra que son tres principales, son tres principales en las que yo voy a poner eh, un gerundio y no es, no es que esté haciendo un progresivo, ¿verdad? Sino la primera es cuando va al inicio de una oración, la segunda es cuando después de una preposición yo tengo un verbo y la tercera es eh, para separar cuando yo tengo dos verbos en una oración en, en, en el mismo tiempo no puedo porque si yo le digo ok permítame eso tiene que I like I like traveling tengo dos verbos tengo like y tengo mm -hmm. travel entonces cuando yo tengo dos verbos justo a la par no los puedo dejar si yo pusiera aquí I like travel. Suena, sonaría como decir yo gustar viajar. Mm -hmm. okay. Entonces el segundo verbo se altera poniéndole el ing word. Y la otra forma de hacerlo es infinitivo. ¿Qué es un infinitivo? El to. El to. Y mm -hmm. cuando uso un infinitivo, el verbo ya lo puedo dejar eh, normal. I like to travel o... Oh, I like traveling, pero yo tengo que de alguna manera separar o modificar esos dos verbos, porque si no, eh, sonaría como cavernícola, ¿verdad? Yo gustar viajar. Entonces, por regla gramatical, yo tengo que separarlos, ya sea así o así, con infinitivo, una o la otra. Mm -hmm. Esas son las tres principales formas en las que usted va a ver un germ. Ok, perfecto. Sí, hoy estamos súper más claros con diferenciarlo y el, el significado, ¿verdad? Que agarraría cada, cada, uh -huh. cada verbo. ¿Sí? No, 
no traducirlo siempre en, en ando, ¿verdad? Caminando, hablando, entonces no siempre, Esta ¿verdad? es la idea principal que yo quería que, porque mucha gente se eh, lleva loco. siempre que es, es eso, el ando, endo, siempre que ven ING, piensan que es alguna acción en continuo, como decir, hablando, escuchando, leyendo, y no es así. Tenemos que Ajá. quitarnos esa idea que es siempre que veamos ING, es un continuo, un tiempo progresivo, no. El, el ING es un yearn y depende, tiene muchas funciones, como sujeto de una oración, objeto de una preposición, o simplemente eh, para separar los, los verbos en una oración. Ok, sí, ahora igual pues ya, con, ya estaría agarrando la idea distinta, porque antes quería agarrar la idea del párrafo y pues no me tenía mucho sentido, ¿verdad? por lo mismo, por cómo estarlo traduciendo. ¿verdad? Sí, entonces, por ejemplo, si usted quiere decir um, aprender un nuevo idioma, no es tan difícil. Entonces usted está diciendo, mira, aprender un idioma no es tan difícil. Entonces el verbo, usted va a empezar con. Learning. Ajá, learning. Learning a new language is not that difficult. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y, o si usted dice, um, cocinar no es de mis actividades favoritas. Cooking. Es cooking. Cooking is not, is not one of my favorite activities. Ajá. Ah, ok, sí. Es más fácil ahora que ya entiendo las, como las reglas principales, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Igual, puede decir leer en la noche. Reading. Me relaja. Reading. At night. At night. Eh, no sé cómo. Uh, in my relax. Relax me. Uh -huh. O makes me feel relaxed. Me hace sentir relajada. Reading at night makes me feel relaxed. Trate eh, de seguirlo practicando y pues no sé si ya con esto le quedó más claro o quiere que sigamos haciendo ejemplos. No, 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 me quedó súper claro. Ahí solamente ir ganando más vocabulario para ir uniendo más la frase, ¿verdad? Sí, eso podría ser una, ¿verdad? Eh, y pues tratar de hacer usted sus propios ejemplos. Eh, igual, eh, esto no es que ustedes tienen que esperar eh, para poder preguntar o que ya porque ya tuve one on one no puede seguir preguntando. Eh, no, como les dije en la primera clase que tuve con ustedes, si cualquier pregunta háganla, si se dice, podría poner más ejemplos o no le entendí. Créame de verdad que no es molestia para nada volverles a explicar, hacer más ejemplos, ponerles más material en las presentaciones. Créame que no. Lo importante es que ustedes aprendan. Ok, muchas gracias, teacher. Sí, de sí, verdad igual. que me este módulo. Y okay. apenas vamos. Bueno, y cualquier cosa siempre pregunte. Si no, si le da pena, escríbame eh, en el chat de la meeting, le da la opción de escribir en privado. ¿Ok? okay. Ahí okay. donde dice to everyone, si usted le da clic, ahí le aparecen todos los participantes y yo creo que parece como inglés corporativo o host. Ese es para mí. Mm -hmm. Si quiere hacer los mensajes directos solo para que yo lo vea, hágalo así. Porque a veces por pena no preguntan. Y yo entiendo, sí. pero lo peor que puede hacer es quedarse con la duda. Entonces, si le da pena porque no quiere interrumpir o porque sea, escríbame así y lo puede hacer directo solo para mí. Sí, perfecto. Muchas gracias, Ticha. Ok. Uh, ¿Hay algo más antes de que terminemos la sesión? No, eso sería todo. Okay. Solo lo voy a quedar explicando. Uh -huh. Bueno. Muchas gracias por quedarse otro ratito. Sé que está cansada, así es que pues la dejo dormir. <risa> Igualmente, Tisha, muchas gracias. Gracias. Nos vemos mañana, que descanse. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Bye.